Welcome back to the American Dream. Today I'm speaking with Laura Harbison. She is the broker owner of Realty Executives Southern Nevada Properties. Laura, thank you as always for being on the American Dream. It's great to be here, thank you. Of course, so today we are talking a little bit about keeping your home safe, whether it's on the market, not on the market, how can a homeowner make sure that their home is being protected? Right, some basic anti-burglary tips, uh, starting with making sure the exterior of your home is maintained. You don't want to have the landscape being overgrown, shrubs growing out of control like no one's paying attention. Uh, another factor to the exterior would be making sure you don't have debris in the front yard, newspapers piling up, etc. Uh, if you're on vacation or if the home is vacant, uh, enlist the help of your neighbors. You know, talk to them and say, hey, can you help keep an eye on the front of my house? And, you know, if anybody throws a paper or anything in the front, can you grab it? Uh, maybe even ask them to park in your driveway occasionally so it looks like there's people coming and going. Uh, another factor for the exterior would be lighting. Uh, you don't want to just leave lights on all the time because that makes it look like there's nobody there. So having floodlights on motion sensors is, is great. Uh, burglars don't want to be seen and the, you know, just the activity of the lights going on and off uh, will most likely scare them away. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, I was going to say, uh, touching on that too, I know another good um, feature is that people can have automatic lights on the inside too. You're probably going to mention right. that. But yeah, it's, it's good to make it look as if somebody's home. Exactly. You can use those timers for lights on the interior. You can use them for a radio or a television. Uh, again, you don't want it to be the same all the time because, you know, a burglar who's, you know, watching your house will see that there's no activity, the lights are always on or on or off at the same time, etc. So you want to make sure that you're enlisting that technology to help you. Uh, the, you know, another, th another technology tip would be to use cameras. Uh, the ring doorbells become really popular. You know, those are motion activated and they actually record people and you can hear them and it can alert you on your phone. Again, burglars don't want to be seen and they don't want to be recorded and so you don't want the cameras hidden. You want them right out there, in, you know, in plain sight. Alarms are great, the, you know, items that make loud noises when people come in. It doesn't have to be monitored. Uh, you probably do want to get the signs that you put outside that say that the home is being monitored, whether it is or not. Uh, but having some sort of noise maker go off when you know, someone breaks into the house you know, is very helpful. Next thing you want to do is you want to sit back and think about what you would do if you locked yourself out of your own house. So if you <laughs> went out and you locked yourself out, what are you gonna, how are you gonna get back into your own house? And if the first thing you think about is the window that has the broken lock or the back door that you always leave unlocked, now you know what the vulnerabilities are of your home. You wanna make sure that you take care of those things. Uh, it seems like locking your doors would be common sense, but I can't tell you how many people that I come across that have certain doors that they never lock. Maybe it's the fire door in from the garage, which is probably the number one way that burglars enter houses. Uh, it could be, you know, they like to have their windows open and they don't think about those locks and all too. So you want to definitely make sure all of your locks are functioning on your doors and windows and that you have those secured all the time. So that would be, oh, and then, you know, another, you know, this is more of a, a tip in case you get burglarized. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a good log of all the items that you have in your house. You want to write down serial numbers, uh, take pictures, a video of the interior of your home is very helpful in the, you know, in the unfortunate event that you are burglarized. It's very hard to remember what you have and where it's at, you know, especially in a pressure situation like that. Uh, and it definitely helps with your insurance company to be able to prove what you have. If you have pictures and video, it's really hard to say that you didn't have those items. I like that you mentioned all of that because truthfully it really is, I mean, what a better way to know how to get into your house un unless you lock yourself out. And another right. thing, that ring door system is not as expensive as people would think. So I'm glad you mentioned that. It's a really good tool to keep the front of your house really safe. Now, transitioning, I know you've got a great listing over there in on Peninsula Point Avenue. Can you talk to me about that one? Yes, that's at 1412 Peninsula Point. The asking price is $775,000, and this property is over 5,400 square feet. It's got six bedrooms and six bathrooms. 
And those bedrooms include two master suites, one upstairs and one downstairs, both of which each have their own private sitting room. Uh, all the rooms are spacious. The family room is amazing. It's got a huge loft upstairs. Uh, one of my favorite features is the double island kitchen. I love to cook, so for me, that's a big feature. Uh, it sits on a third of an acre premium lot. It has a beautiful pool and spa with waterfall, and uh, it's just an amazing, just an amazing property. That sounds brand new on the market. Yeah, that sounds like a beautiful property, brand new on the market. You are the one to go to, and I know that you were, grew up with a military family, so you moved a lot. So who better to move with yes. than you, Laura? Because you are, yeah, you are an experienced mover. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Not by choice, but. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Well, we appreciate you sharing your knowledge with us on the American Dream, and we're looking forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you. Of course. Thanks so much for watching the American Dream. We'll be right back with more.